I am so glad to talk with you all tonight and I am thoroughly enjoying these night conversations. You know, it gives me an opportunity to really sit here and talk to y'all like y'all are here with me. Um, hopefully when the community grows a little bit, we can start having like some meetup groups. I would love for um, y'all to come to the winery in Nashville. Maybe once we grow, I can kind of rent that venue and we just have some great discussion, of course, some music, some live music. Me, I'm <laughs> just saying singing. Uh, I just think it would be so good. But listen, that can happen, that we can grow this community. Because I tell you one thing I do know is that 57% of the people that watch the channel don't subscribe. So it's really important if you watch the channel and it's really enriching your life and it's really improving your life, giving you hope and giving you just some form of a connection to our creator, please subscribe. Please share these messages. Help us get this community growing because God is moving and it takes all of us to make it happen. So please don't just watch, but click the subscribe button, the bell notifications so that you can get all the updates. But enough of that. You know, as I began to sit here, I was thinking about how God comes to me in dreams. Um, sometimes he'll wake me up in the middle of the morning just to begin to just pray and just sit in the stillness of God to really hear what he's saying. A lot of times he'll wake me up and he'll give me things to talk to you guys about or things to just the Holy Spirit will begin to just pray on my behalf for me. I really don't know sometimes. I just, the Spirit will just pray through me to God. And he'll give me music. I mean, music to the point where I've I've got lyrics. I've got arrangements. I can hear keys, the bass guitar, woodwinds, brass. I mean, I can hear the whole shebang, and it's unbelievable. It's so crazy that I've sung a couple songs to my kids and to some of the young people because, you know, they just don't care. <laughs> just tell you the truth. They're like, did you write that? Is that somebody's? That is dope you know or my son would say mom what are you doing you should be singing this is crazy so when you get like 15 year olds 16 year olds 20 year olds 25 year olds saying it then you know it's something that's really good so i'm excited to be working on that um but i wanted to let you know something tonight that what god revealed to me for y'all is that he wants to free up your mind he wants to free your hands God revealed to me that he wants to liberate you out of a circumstance. Listen to this. He says that he wants to liberate you. Liberation is freeing a place or people from enemy occupation. It's providing a release from a situation which limits freedom of thought or behavior. Freeing you from a place or people where the enemy is occupying something. I want you to know that the enemy really wants to occupy your mind more than anything else because he understands that your mind is a spiritual field and that thoughts are seeds. And he knows that if he can give you enough thoughts and you begin to really feel what you're thinking about, those thoughts will begin to take root inside of your heart and you will begin to communicate through your body spiritually without even saying a word. And sometimes, in most cases, the enemy will use our past in the form of trauma and things that we have gone through to keep us locked in bondage so we can never be free. Sometimes, depending on circumstances, we find ourselves not really wanting it, but subconsciously we find ourselves slipping into idolizing people, relationships, money, things, without even realizing that. And sometimes what the enemy will do is rob you of your peace through people. And I just really wanted to come on here this evening and say the fastest way 
for you to really experience God the way that you should is to lay it all down. Now, I know I've said it before, but you really have to come to the end of everything that you know. People want to worry you where you have absolutely no peace. People want to play with your mind. They want to play with your emotions. And that really ain't them. It's a spirit inside of people that wants to keep you stagnant. It wants to keep you stuck. So you will never experience liberation because that demon needs your attention to keep you put so it can continue to feed on your energy. But I want to give you a word over here with Isaiah 26 and 3, and it says that you will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, and that is committed and focused on you, which is God, in both inclination and character, because he trusts God and takes refuge in him with hope and confident expectation. When you trust something, you have a firm belief in it. God wants to give you freedom from suspicion and doubt in your life. Do you hear me tonight? God wants to give you freedom, listen to me, from suspicion and doubt. Suspicion, wondering if God will really do what it is that you are wanting him to do, doubting, because you're looking at things with your physical eye and it seems like your situation is impossible. So therefore you're doubting and you're suspicious, but yet you're praying to God saying that you are believing. And there's no way that God can get to you, even if he wanted to, when you are conflicting in your mind and in your heart is conflicted. When the two agree, your mind and your heart, and it aligns with the will of God, then God can perform whatever it is that he needs to perform to liberate you and to set you free. And I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but somebody is holding on to somebody. Somebody is holding on to a relationship. God is saying a relationship tonight. This relationship is robbing you of your peace. It's robbing you of your productivity. It is robbing you of your relationship with God. This relationship has gotten in the forefront of your life where all you can do is just think about this relationship. And it's it's robbing you of a genuine connection with God so that you can stop being worried, suspicious, and doubting what God can do for you. I want you to understand that the devil will use people in relationships and they don't even understand, they are oblivious to the fact that they are being used because everybody is not in tune with God the way that they should be in tune with God. They don't even understand that they're being used to disturb your peace. So that's causing you to be in spiritual bondage in your heart where pain has began to rule and conquer you. Pain and fear has moved in to tell you exactly what to do, what to think about, and what to feel. But I bind that right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that pain and fear and doubt has to let you go. I say loose you in the name of Jesus Christ because you deserve to be free tonight. You deserve to be lacking any type of suspicion and doubt in your spirit. You deserve to just sit there, if nothing else, just to be still and be peaceful and not anxious in your entire being so that you can release that. I bind it tonight. Anxiousness, depression, fear, uncertainties, and what I call it uh, suspicion and doubt. You've done your job. In the name of Jesus, leave these folks alone. Go on about your business in love because we need to clear up some space so God can take your place and begin to fill folks up and deliver people into the promise that he has for them. I felt that thing in my spirit tonight. I want you to know this right here. I wrote this down. 
the best thing for you to do tonight is physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually let anyone or anything that is robbing you of your peace and freedom go. I don't care how hard it is because Satan wants to use this person or persons and their confusion and mess to burden you spiritually and bind you up so that you won't be in perfect and constant peace. He wants to use folks in your life to occupy your mind so that it will be on them instead of the life giver himself, which is God. Do you understand that God wants to give you life and give it to you more abundantly if your mind is just stayed fast on him? Do you understand the reason why you keep thinking about your troubles and the reason why you keep thinking about people that may have done you wrong and the reason why you keep thinking about that man that ain't no good to keep playing with you, that don't even call you, that don't even text you, the reason why you keep on thinking about that woman that you know that God done told you to leave her alone because that's a Jezebel spirit. The reason why you keep thinking about that is because your mind has been occupied with them, but God wants to occupy your mind with God. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. This ain't for everybody. This is just a specific word for somebody that has been wrestling to let go of dead things, dead relationships with people. I want you to know that you are valuable. You are so valuable that you are worth many, many, many sparrows. Do you understand how valuable you are? You're so valuable that God gave his only begotten son to come down here and live this life to feel all of the physical pain and emotions that you could ever possibly think of. He was around folks that when he got ready to fulfill the cup that the Lord has given him, everybody abandoned him and turned against him and he bared it all and felt all the pain of the world for you. And I just heard the Lord say, give him three days to complete the work inside of your heart. Fast for three days. Give him your, your time for three days. Give him more of you for the next three days. Don't think about that other person. Don't think about that circumstance. I don't care if they hurt you to just to deep, 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 deep hurt you. It's okay. Hurt is just an emotion, baby. You can release hurt in love and allow God to pull healing in. If you release the hurt, God will fulfill your heart with healing. He wants to heal your soul tonight. I just feel this so deep inside that people are really, really messing with people that belong to the most high. They want to mess with your mind and your emotions tonight. God wants you to be free. He wants to liberate you. He wants you to keep in perfect peace. The one whose mind is steadfast, come on, that is committed and focused on God in both inclination and character because he trusts and takes refuge in him, which is hope and confident expectation. God wants you to have hope and refuge in him and not that dreadful situation. He wants you to find peace in him. He wants to free you from suspicion and doubt because you've been done wrong for so long that you have suspicion about people and you have doubt. God wants that spirit to let you go so that you can feel how it is to sincerely feel love and confidence in everything that you do. Because, see, people want to sit up and say, if you're confident, then you're conceited, that you think that you're all that. Baby, it ain't conceitedness. You don't know the hell that I've been through. It's confidence. It's assurance. It's assurance knowing that God is going to do everything that he said he's going to do for me. You need to get to a point in your life, and some of you are there, to where you can just sit up in the middle of your bed like I do, and me. And just thank God. Do I get worried sometimes? Yeah. But it's just a thought. I release worry. And as soon as it show up, I said, worry, I, I acknowledge you. I see you. And you've done a great job. But it's time for you to go in love in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Because worry can't be here anymore. You've taught me enough. 
And the only thing that I am just really willing to allow into my space is trust. Trust in God and peace. Peace to know that God is doing some great things for us. I'm telling you something that if we all get together and put our mind on God, if we all in this community just get together tonight and we make a choice collectively to put our mind, put our focus, put our spirit, wrap our emotions around God and his word and really mean that thing like we mean it, mean it. You know what I'm saying? And if we truly just fall in love with Jesus, come on. Hey, Kate, no. Okay, Shonda, calm down. See, I have to talk to myself in third person because that other part of me just want to just run around this room right now. God is so good. Ooh, I'm telling you, God is so real. Because mm. when I just think about him, he fills me up. Let me tell you something. God is a provider. When you are a single woman and you don't have any help, you don't have a husband or none of that, God is the best husband to those who don't have a husband. He's the best parent to somebody who don't have parents today. He is the best lover that you could ever experience in your life. He pursues you <laughs> until he gets your attention to reconcile back with you. That's how good God is. He loves you. Come on, somebody. In the midst of your mistakes, he will keep you. Come on, somebody. When you don't even feel like you should be kept, he will coddle you. Come on, today. When your heart is broken, he will love you. Come on, back to wholeness because that's how good your God is and with any temptation come on somebody there's always a way through a way out of temptation come on because he don't allow the devil to come up in your life come on today without advancing you and opening a door for you to get through but here's the catch he gives you a key come on somebody today so that you can bind up that devil and lock him baby where he never comes and messes with you again but you gotta get to a point come on that we get people People up off of these pedestals because they don't belong on a pedestal. The only thing that belongs on the pedestal of your mind is our Savior, is our Father. That's the only thing that belongs on a pedestal because can't nobody come on somebody love you in the midst of everything that you have done, good or bad. Can't nobody be a constant help. Come on in the time of trouble. Come on. But God, because people will say that they will help you. But when you really need help, they ain't nowhere to be found. People will say that they'll be your friend. Come on, somebody. But when you need somebody to talk to in the midnight hour, they ain't around. People will call you. Come on today. When they need prayer and they need a shoulder to cry on. But when you pick up the phone, come on. They ain't on the other end because they got what they needed from you. But God is always there. He's always always faithful. He's always loving. He's always caring. He's always delivering. He's always breaking barriers. He's always putting you through. He's always elevating you. He's always giving you good messages. He's always giving you good thoughts. He's always giving you a recompense. He's always giving you an inheritance. He's always giving you anointing. He's always giving you an overflow. He's always giving you a praise. He's always giving you everything that you need, even the stuff that you think you don't need. He's giving you that too. So I'm just saying to you tonight, come on somebody, I'm going to calm down. I'm going I'm to calm down because see, I done got excited. That vein is in my forehead. That's how you know I'm just all over. I'm in my feelings because I feel the spirit of the Lord in here tonight. Oh, Jesus. We love you, God. We just want to, can we just worship real quick? God, we just want to thank you for loving us through the pain. We want to thank you for healing our hearts, God. We want to ask for forgiveness if we put anything and anyone before you, God. We want to give it all up so that you can bring us up to where you are, God. We want to be elevated in our consciousness, in our spirit, and in our lives, God, because we sincerely love you and we want to do your will, God. We want to do your will. We want to be free from suspicion and doubt because we know that we have you in our heart and we're confident tonight. We may have not been confident before we got on this call, but we're confident now knowing, God, 
knowing, knowing that you love us and will sincerely, sincerely be with us and see us through. Well, I hope you guys have a good night. I done almost went in on this on this uh, recording, but it's all right. You are worthy of every good thing. You're worthy of peace. You're worthy to be treated with respect and love. But most importantly, you're worthy to experience freedom and liberation in your soul, in your mind, in your heart, and in your environment. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still believe in you. Good night.